opposite of our game in New York a couple of weeks ago where I think we started out that game 14 nothing, And, um, you know, I, I thought the Knicks were great tonight right from the very beginning. Um, you know, they took it to us. They, they were physical. Um, they played with great force. And uh, I thought Tom made a great move uh, starting McBride, um, <clears throat> you know, with um, OG out. Um, you know, putting McBride in there, space the floor, and obviously he got going, and uh, they had us really spread out early, and we knew they were going to come in and play hard, you know, after we got them a couple weeks ago. Um, that's kind of their identity. They're a hard-playing team, and um, they took it to us tonight. Why do you think, I mean, outside of Steph and Jake Harrelly, is just the starting unit not really having that oomph tonight, really just not being able to find any. Uh, yeah, just one of those nights, you know, where um, we didn't really get anything going, um, you know, um, from from that starting group. They've been really good, um, but it just felt like uh, from the very beginning we were swimming upstream. So I think it was uh, 15 to 4 out of the gate, and, um, you know, we didn't once have the lead in the game. We, you know, made a, a good comeback, but um, I just didn't think we were disciplined enough um, throughout the game. Um, to earn the win. You know, we were um, biting on pump fakes on non-shooters. We were getting back cut over and over again, which compromised our defense. Um, you know, they had um, 14 offensive boards. Um, they just outplayed us, simple as that. See, what do you make of a start like this in a game at this point of the season with the stakes as high as they are? What do you make from that? I mean, what do you take away from that? Well, it's... Um, I don't think it's a lack of effort. Um, I think it's, um, you know, just, um, you know, we we weren't good enough. That simple. You know, we did we just did not play well enough. And, um, you know, we we um, it's disappointing because you know we got these three home games here this week, and we wanted to get off on the right track. And um, you know, but that's a really good team, and and they just they just outplayed us. As simple as that. How important is it over these last 15? You have six more home games. And I know you've talked in the past about how important it is to establish a home court. Is it still in, as important as it always was, or has that dynamic changed a little bit with the way the season's going? It's always important to, to control your home floor. Um, this has been a strange season in that regard. We've been good at home for a long time and um, just haven't been able to establish um, you know, that uh, that dominance at home, and that's what's keeping us from, you know, climbing up in the standings. Any reason for that? No. Just random? Yeah, I don't know. What did, um, what did you think of how Andrew Wiggins played tonight? Um, it looked like you went with Gary over him for a little bit there, um, and what went into the decision to keep him in, in the fourth during crunch time? Uh, well, we were searching uh, for for lineups tonight for sure. You know, um, I liked Moses' uh, minutes in the first half, and then he went out with a knee injury. And with uh, Moses unavailable, uh, you know, we were we were searching for lineups, whether it was Wiggs or J.K. or Brandon. Um, and um, you know, you make the the best decisions that you can, um, and you have to be able to guard. Um, you know, so we wanted Wiggs on Brunson, and um, and that's why Gary played as many minutes as, as he did as well um, because uh, you know they spread you out and Brunson is really tough and um, so we we were matching up and trying to find lineups that clicked.